while using previous reflections based method of converting an RDD into data frame, we created a case class with various fields. But what if we don't know the number of fields along with their data type during the time of coding? Or we want to make a generic program that can convert various kinds of RDDs into a data frame. We would need to programmatically specify the schema. In other words, when case classes cannot be defined ahead of time, for example, the structure of records is encoded in a string or a text data set will be passed and fields will be projected differently for different users. In such cases, we can programmatically create a data frame with these three steps. First, create an RDD of rows from the original RDD. Then, create the schema represented by a struct type matching the structure of rows in the RDD created in previous step. And then, apply the schema to the RDD of rows via create data frame method provided by Spark session. Let us take a look at programmatically specifying the schema. Say we have a file people.txt having data comma separated and we are provided with schema details dynamically during runtime in a string with the name schema string. The schema string would be having the name of columns separated by space. Right now, it is having two column names, name and age. But in future, it could have more or less number of columns. Let us get started to create data frames by programmatically specifying schema. The first step is to import all the classes from SQL and types packages. We would get row object from SQL package and struct type from SQL.types package. Also, let's define schema string as name space is inside double quotes. In real scenarios, we would be reading it from somewhere at runtime. Also, the schema string might also contain the data type of the field. Right now, we are just going to assume that both of these columns are of string data type. Let us first split the schema string by space such that resulting array has column names as each element. Now, let's create the struct field for each element of the array, that is the column. Here, we are using map method provided by Scala not spark on table collection. So, we have created a variable with the names of fields as an array of struct field object. This is the schema. Next step is to create the RDD as usual. Here, we are creating the RDD from people.txt located in slash data slash spark folder in HDFS. Here, people RDD would be made up of records where each record is a line. Now, let's break each line of text by comma and then create row objects. Row objects are like array objects Row objects have no information about the column names. Using the fields schema and the RDD having rows, we can easily create the data frame using create data frame method. This method takes the row RDD as first argument and schema as second argument. The data frame created here has people df name and is ready for various data frame based operations let's take a look at the data frame using show method you can see that the data frame has been successfully created programmatically you can register it as a view and run sql queries 
on it.